Hello and welcome to Your Average Bear. I'm George. At the moment of recording, you can go onto the Games Workshop's website and buy yourselves one of the five battle forces that are released for the holiday season. They're really cool. They're a nice discount. Decent looking models. Um, none of them are, you know, old garbage. They're all fairly new. Ah, oh, I was so, so tempted. I was going to get a few, just like I did last year, and I'd have stuff to paint for the rest of the year. But I didn't. I have a number of reasons for it. But it boils down to that wasn't the direction I wanted to take for this channel over the next 12 months or so. Now, in life, we take some roads and we don't take other roads, and it's good to understand why we didn't take the roads we didn't take. The fun, the zest, the spice of life is all about those roads we did take. So which road did I take this time around? Mm. Boom! Kill Team Octarius. Let's check it out. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about Kill Team Octarius, but before I do any of that, I'm going to open the box and get rid of this plastic wrapper because it's super glary. Okay, so why did I get this box and not one of those battle forces or two of those battle forces or all of those battle forces? Well, <laughs> ain't nobody got a thousand dollars to drop on Games Workshop. Um, but, but, this guy, now it's not new, it's not particularly rare, you could probably go to your local friendly game store and pick it up. That's exactly what I did. I was browsing, I went looking for some paint or something, and I saw this there, and I was like, George, George, buy me, and I thought, no, 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 I don't play Kill Team, and I don't, but, as I was thinking about it, I'm thinking that Games Workshop's innovation this year is going to be largely driven by Kill Team. Look at these models, right? So they led with these kind of newish orc dudes, um, and then they released this uh, Imperial Guard uh, Astro Militarum Legion. You could only get them in this kit for all for the longest time. Then they released the Tau models, and I bet they're going to do the same thing with Eldar. Kill Team, I think, at least for this year, is going to be a major source of Games Workshop innovation. And quite frankly, I want to be at the forefront of that innovation. I want to see all the cool models, build them up, paint them, maybe magnetize them, although this is Kill Team, I probably won't have any vehicles in it. I want to be there, and so that's going to be the road for this channel for the rest of this year. Not just Kill Team, but me, really focused on all the new, cool, innovative stuff that Games Workshop is going to tempt us with this year. So, let's take a look at Kill Team Octarius to see what's inside. I know you know the contents, you've seen this before. Let's take a look anyway. Maybe this will tempt you to get a copy for your own. Wait, how do you open this? I mean, just for starters, the packaging is second to none. It is so well put together. Oh my gosh. So, what's in the box? What's in the box? All this, all this is in the box. We've got a sprue of orky terrain. We've got a, oh yeah, this is like the kill team stuff. There's, these are the 
The measurement things is another measurement thing. We've got some scatter terrain. We've got another big, big sprue of terrain. Another one, a big orky building. And another one, a big orky building. Oh my. Even more orky buildings. Yeah, look at all this stuff. So I'm going to show you in detail, in more detail in a bit here. I want to take a look at every one of these sprues. But I just wanted to unbox the thing and, and see what's inside. Here's a sprue of orcs. Here's a sprue of Astro Militarum. Sprue of orcs. And a sprue of Astro Militarum. So we've got two sprues. Let's call it uh, two and three quarters sprues. So we've got like one, two, half, and another quarter. So these are the models themselves. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sprues of terrain, and like a half with scatter and some other stuff. Now, I should point out, Another one of the reasons why I bought this kit is because of terrain. I don't have any terrain, which kind of makes sense since I don't actually play the game, but I've never painted terrain. I've never put it together. I want to give that a shot. We have this poster thingamajiggy. Uh, that's not going on my walls. I'm a nerd. I am not a dweeb. We've got some dice. <laughs> dice. Dice, please. Dice, please. If you get that, you're awesome. If you don't, go see Jack Frags. We've got some bases. We've got some cards that I'm guessing is like a kill team stuff. And we've got the rule books. We've got the core book. We have the Octarius book. And it looks like the instruction guides to putting terrain together uh, is right here. And I have an idea. Magnetized terrain. Why? For storage purposes. Maybe. Maybe that's going to be a thing. Ooh. Oh no. We've got decals. This is uh, Death Corps of Krieg. This is orcs. And finally we have the gaming surface, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh. This right here is the gaming surface. Okay, that was cool. Totally worth the 170 something bucks I paid for this. <sighs> Let's take a closer look at the sprues, shall we? Okay, let's start off with the Imperial Death Corps of Krieg sprue. Here it is. And I'm going to post, I'm going to take a picture of this and put it on uh, Imger, Imger uh, if you want to see really, really in detail and still image what's on here. But, you know, it's this the uh, Astro Militarum, the Death, Krieg of, uh, Death Corps of Krieg. We have their uh, kind of part of their torso. We've got some legs. We've got some cool looking helmets. We have some even cool looking, looking backpacks. We've got some special weapons. Look at this thing. It's a breech loading grenade launcher. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Chain sword. Oh man. And here 
And here we have the smaller sprue of uh, Aster Militarum. It looks like these are all the kind of the optional stuff. So if you want to enhance your um, Imperial Guard human dudes with uh, some extra doodads, uh, we have doodads here aplenty. Yeah, this should be really neat. Okay, so that was those sprues. Okay, for the orcs, we've got this one big, huge sprue. Uh, there's a lot going on, right? So you've already seen these, but there's uh, a couple of orc bodies. There's this big old orc backpack. There's like a flamer or something like that. A big old missile launcher. Uh... Look at that crazy looking orc head. Come on. That huge knife. I mean, I think these are probably called like choppas and shootas or whatever because they're orcs. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Um. Look at that right there. This is a bundle of dynamite with a fuse. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm looking at. I I can't get over it. It's really, really cool looking. On this half sprue, we have another orc. Uh, yeah, it's just more orc, orky goodness. It um, looks like a, a lash, a big old flamer. Man. We have a barrel? I guess it's a backpack? Who knows, man? But there's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, that's probably... That right there is probably a squig head. Uh, I can tell from having built and painted that uh, red gobbo and bouncer. Yeah. So, lots of cool stuff on these sprues. Go away for a while. This is the accessory sprue. So it's got these movement um, guides, right? Uh, it's got this thing for kind of longer movements, I guess, for other ranges. And it's got the scatter terrain. Uh, these are like little barriers, little shields that you can put around your, your field to kind of break up the uh, your battle space. Okay, we've got two of these right here. This is like a big orky building. Uh, I'm guessing that you put this together and it kind of has an L shape or whatever, which is probably a pain to store. If you want to store this and carry it around with you, you might want to have a flat pack solution, which I think magnets can help us with. Hmm. I'm liking this idea more and more, but just there's so much detail. This is the... Uh, I don't know if it's the typical Games Workshop detail level, but it is second to none. And I base this comparison on my complete lack of experience with any other type of model kit. Since I haven't gotten any other kinds of models, right, like I haven't done any Space Wars, uh, Star Wars Legion, I haven't done any Malifaux, I haven't done any of the you know dozens that are out there, in spite of that I can confidently say confidently that this is the best looking scenery I've ever seen because I haven't seen any other scenery. We've got two of this guy right here. This is like another shape of orc building. Lots of detail, that little, that little hatch. Uh, this looks like a, a walkway that attaches this to this. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. And these are heavy, solid, chunky, like pieces of terrain. Uh, they should be fun to put together or infuriating. We've got this guy, which as far as I can tell is a big old junk pile. Yeah, uh, it's a pile of junk. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure to paint. There's so much going on. There's a bunch of tires, a bunch of cogs. 
Ah, that's going to be... That's going to be a thing. But it looks really cool. And the final sprue is this guy right here. Looks like a fuel tank or a Promethean a Promethium tank because this is, you know, Warhammer 40k. Um, and uh, it's got like a crane and some stuff that you can, I guess, you can connect these two and you can walk, put your models on, on catwalks. Lots of cool stuff here. Now, I'm not done with my last towel model. I've been dragging my feet. I'm going to finish it, and when I do, I'm coming back to these, and I'm going to make them awesome. I hope you're here to watch it, otherwise I'm just kind of wasting my time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you join me on this adventure this year. I'm going to keep building, keep magnetizing, and keep painting quickly, and I anticipate a lot of learning from lots of mistakes, but you don't have to repeat them. So, have a wonderful afternoon, and as always, be nice to yourselves and each other. Peace.